Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Hidden Expedition Everest. I'm MCF Poppin, this is part three. And to start off this episode, our fun fact from Ed Vesters is to make a camp on Everest, you have to shovel a flat area into the rocks and snow. Isn't that interesting? Something weird I'd like to point out is that the starting time isn't an even amount. Like, why wouldn't they just set it to 30 minutes? Why did they add an extra six seconds to it? Is that really going to make any sort of difference? I don't know. And now for something different you may be noticing right now if you're listening that there's sound effects and those are all added in by me so be thankful for them because I feel like I've demonstrated enough that this game's so weird without sound effects so I'm using them and by the way the super secret item for this location is the paintbrush 5 of 18 making good progress on it and in case you're wondering what the sound effects are from they're actually from the flash game version of Hidden Expedition Everest. Because the sound effects actually work in the Flash game. So chances are that something in one of their updates to the digital version broke it. Or maybe it really is like a computer issue. And just on like a Windows 7 it doesn't work. It has to be like XP. I wonder who the kid is in there. Probably one of the developer's kids. Who got to be immortalized as apparently flying a crashed plane. <laughs> and this is the mystical lost city of El Dorado. And what does it turn out to be? A literal plane that's called El Dorado. Oh, and I suppose there is some gold with it, too. And I thought it was disappointing in Uncharted 1 when El Dorado turned out to just be a single, like, coffin and not a proper city of gold. Legend has it that El Dorado is an entire city made of gold and jewels. That's what legend says. But in actuality, it's just a crappy plane from like World War II or something that crashed in the jungle. Makes sense, doesn't it? Bye. 
Okay, finally found an item. I don't know why it, I was having such trouble seeing stuff. And now I'm finding things pretty fast. Chaskies delivered messages along the Inca Trail. Well, thanks for that great info, Ed. Something different though compared to the mystery case files games is in this game you have to find every single item and it was the same way in Titanic and Amazon too where there's like no leeway given okay I don't know where the music is. There we go. God. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm asking too much for expecting like a game from 2007 or so to have proper audio quality. Or at least audio that actually plays properly. Well, that lizard was in the reptile house in Huntsville. I mean, I will give this game's music credit, it isn't as, like, repetitive or as overbearing as some of the music in Titanic was. I didn't collect the precious hourglass. Oh no, I might actually lose the race for this level. Oh man. <laughs> That's pretty gross. Someone left the molds their orthodontist made of their teeth. Just go on vacation to Machu Picchu and just leave those of all things littered about. Pretty weird. Man, that's a tiny, tiny peapod. Ooh, another plate, but this time it's of breakfast or at least sausages which I guess aren't technically explicitly for breakfast yeah 
and they offer a guide there or to the side but that doesn't seem to really be very useful as a guide and it isn't really that hard to figure out where stuff goes for that matter Just making me hungry. A German Stein? We've got to find this guy. Oh boy, we got to. Lions played a basketball like game using only their hips and elbows. And now, this level, there's absolutely no locations that are new revisiting a few of the other ones. are this time. It took me a while to find him the first time. But I'm learning. And so that cowboy was from the toy shop in Huntsville. Oh, there's also no sound effect for misclicking in this game. Oops. I clicked too much. Oh man, look at how far ahead they got. I guess I'll add in a few misclick sound effects just so you can hear what it is. But if I misclick on stuff... I'm not gonna bother editing in every single time. His chances are over the course of the rest of this game I'll be misclicking quite a bit. Like there, for example. Legend of El Dorado inspired many European explorers to come to the New World. It is a nice detail that they he doesn't say his El Dorado factoids until you actually like discover this location. actually find that boy. Okay. Now why would someone have a 50 pence coin right next to a giant crate full of solid gold bars? I don't know. Maybe they 
saw the gold and thought, well, I better empty my pockets to make room, and so they just chucked the coin out. And yes, editing in all these sound effects will be time-consuming for me, but I have plenty of time, because, for the record, this episode's being recorded on August 14th, 2022, so it'll be several months, or close to a year, before this part will actually be released. But I do like how there is variety in these scenes, so there's more replayability, like there's horseshoes and bugs and to f birds to find. So it isn't just the finding the same three things over and over. Then get a load of this guy. He seems to be very overjoyed to be playing his accordion. <laughs> Despite people throwing tomatoes at him, so he's probably not playing the accordion well. <laughs> but he's just in his own world, happy to be there, I guess. So props to him. Hailed as a genius but despised by many, Otto Brotweiler gained world recognition when he reinvented accordion music with his controversial Everest hit, Ice Ice Crazy. Hilarious. A harrowing flight to Germany. Will we find our explorer? I don't know. There's new footage in my photo Will album. We... We'll find out in the next part, but first let's look at some more vacation slides. We hire a group of Sherpa to help us climb in the Himalayas. We integrate them into our team, and they integrate us into their culture. They are Buddhists and hang these prayer flags so that the prayers will be blown upward in the wind. We have a blessing ceremony before the climb, and whoever is left at base camp burns juniper to help safeguard us as we're climbing. It is a very spiritual experience for them, as well as for us. Yeah, get a load of that high quality 240p video amazing isn't it we use aluminum ladders to get over deep crevasses on the mountain the ice shifts and melts over time so we have to add and fix ladders as needed i always call them crevices but i guess the mountaineer would know how to properly pronounce them. Yeah, but Dorji, why do you think you come with us every time? Because you're a good cook. Once you have a good cook, you keep your cook. <laughs> Never look for anybody new. Wow, wasn't that hilarious? Wasn't that a great video? Amazing. But anyway, that'll do it for this part. So like and subscribe if you want. I'll see you next time.